just a couple of months ago in the big defense authorization bill that that is kind of one of the 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 only must pass pieces of legislation in Congress every year. There was a, a three page provision that was kind of put in there without really any debate in the committee or anything like that, that would essentially authorize um, the United States to go to war with Iran. Now, you would think something like that with that magnitude would be kind of a big deal. You would want to have hearings. You would want to have be a question on strategy, objectives, costs, like all of these different things. That didn't happen. So when this bill came to the floor of the House where all 435 members of Congress have the ability to vote yes or no, I just put in an amendment that would have deleted those three pages from this big thousands page bill. Um, and, and basically those provisions said that Congress is authorizing the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense to create and implement a strategy to counter Iran. Not just come and, hey, bring us your strategy and let us talk about it and see whether or not we agree and approve. It was giving the power to the Secretary of State and Secretary of Defense to create and implement a strategy to counter Iran. Extremely dangerous and a blank check to essentially start a brand new war that currently has not been declared. I introduced this amendment I don't know if you want to take a guess on how many people voted for it. How many? 60. 60. Why wouldn't they? Exactly. Why, why would they want that blank check? There are some people who legitimately do want to do want us to go to war with Iran. Well, who are those people? Um, you don't have to name names. But there, there's a, there are, I would say it's a bipartisan feeling. And why do they want that? Uh, because Iran, uh, they, they feel that Iran is a threat to both the United States and Israel. And Iran is and has been for a long time, they feel, um, a menace, I guess, essentially, and our enemy. Even though Congress has not declared war, uh, even though, you know, we, our country just signed a nuclear deal to make it so that they can't build a nuclear weapon, um, it's, it's, uh, it, it gets to a point where it seems like uh, hysteria, but again, it's not based on an actual thinking through tactically and strategically and responsibly what we're actually doing and what our policy is.